One, two. What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channels, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so today is actually the day that we're finally gonna find out the gender of the baby in my belly. I'm super excited because oh I've been waiting God. for three whole weeks to find out the gender of the baby. There's a baby in there, you guys. <laughs> I've been waiting three whole weeks to find out and today is finally the day that we get to find out whether Andrea is having a little baby sister or a baby brother. I don't even know what to expect. I know. My cousin right now actually went to go get the balloon for us and she was actually the person that I gave the envelope to with the gender so she went to go do all that for us and she's waiting for us at the park right now which we're actually gonna head over there so we'll see you guys over there so we can find out the gender of the baby <laughs> Expect, like, I just feel like I'm talking so much and I just, I'm gonna just do this now. I'm gonna just do this. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> we have to count down. Alright. One. Two. Baby sister. <laughs> Say wow. Wow. Big sister. Look, this, look. Aquí, mano. <laughs> mano, 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 mano. Touch. <laughs> Andrea, are you happy? Are you happy? Gonna be a big sister. Bye. Are you happy? Ah. She's like, no, I wanna be the only child. <laughs> I didn't agree to this. You guys didn't ask for my permission. 
right guys, so we're back home. As you can see, we decided to close up the video here at home just because it was really windy outside. I am still in shock that I'm having another baby girl just because I honestly thought that I was gonna have a boy just because I already had a girl. But then again, I kind of thought it was gonna be a girl just because most of my family consists of girls. So I just thought the same was gonna happen to me, like that I was only gonna have girls. And unfortunately, before I seen the gender of the baby accidentally, I was gonna tell George, like, for me and him to guess the gender of the baby before we popped the balloon. And I was already gonna say that it was a girl, but obviously we couldn't do that no more because I knew the gender of the baby. And like, I don't know, I just think it's crazy that I'm gonna have another girl just because once they're teenagers, I do not know what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> it's gonna be extremely difficult, like, I don't know. Just two girls, they're gonna drive me crazy, they're gonna be expensive, they're gonna wanna be buying makeup. Oh, I wanna get my nails done, my eyebrows done. All I know is that George's pockets are gonna have a hole in them with three girls. Having to get my eyebrows, Andrea's eyebrows, and the new baby's eyebrows. It's gonna be like nails. a black hole. I know, our nails, I feel sorry for George. He does not know what he got himself into. I know. How do you feel that you're gonna have another girl? Guys, I cannot believe I'm having a second daughter. Like deep down, I was telling Vanessa that I did want a daughter. Like I did like 100%. But she she kept on saying that I wanted a boy just because for Andrea, I always get her uh, camel pants or like boy thermals just because like they fit better and they look better. And she's always saying, oh, you know that she thinks that I would like to have a boy just like to dress him and you know, maybe introduce yeah. him to skateboarding and to sports and obviously like like you know just have a baby like a little toddler like to be a little more rough with you know like obviously with andrea gotta be a little more gentle but now that she's crazy i'm kind of a little more rough with her you know i pick her up i like toss her around in the bed you know we have a lot of fun together but for sure guys i am really happy to be having a daughter just because we had a name picked out since before she was even pregnant and, and now before we even thought about having any other baby we I, just came up with it in the car yeah like like it's like a name that you've heard of before and it's just we're saying in the spanish like you would think it's so like basic but when you really think about it it's like to me it's beautiful and i would think about zandre even calling her sister like this name and like just hearing like a little child say it i'm just really glad i get to use my daughter's name if i did have a son it would have been completely amazing just like i said then i feel like i probably would not have been able to use his name and i kind of would have been heartbroken in that sense boy or girl i'm happy but i'm just glad i get to use the name and i'm just i was overwhelmed and crazy like i don't know how life's gonna be in a couple months from now it's gonna be it's gonna change i know like i am so not ready to have two babies just because i know it's gonna be extremely difficult and like when i mean difficult i mean like difficult when it comes to sleeping just because you have to wake up every two hours to see a newborn baby and it's just really hard because like it really takes a toll on you like having to wake up every two hours and then on top of that maybe taking care of a toddler and it's just yeah. gonna be crazy like i don't know how i'm gonna do it but it's or, not impossible and i'm gonna have to do it <laughs> yeah or like i don't know maybe when it comes to nap time maybe the newborn could wake up zandre or zandre with the newborn yeah so could. maybe keep them in separate rooms when they're napping we're yeah. we'll have to come up with like a, a routine to make it all work so we can all get good sleep <laughs> It's just crazy that I'm having another mama. girl just because, like I said, it's crazy. Like, I'm still like. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> I know, even though I was able to see the gender before we actually popped the balloon, like, when I seen it, I was like, dang, I'm like another girl in my head. And then I'll, like, also, like. Like, she wanted a boy for sure just because, like, this is going to be most, most likely. likely our last child. I mean, it's what she says. I mean, I, I made no promises. Yeah, I want it to be my last baby just because, like, this pregnancy was really hard for me. I mean, I understand, you know, like, obviously her being pregnant, I'm not going through the symptoms. And I can't, yeah. I can't just say, oh, I want another child, you know, because she's the one carrying the baby and that wouldn't be fair to her. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty crazy, too, because... Before she met me, she always planned to have her first kid at least by 25 or maybe get pregnant by 25. And she's gonna be turning 22 next year in May, already having two kids. I know. I but, ruined her. <laughs> no. I mean, like, you know, things happen. Some people have their kids early, and yeah. I just happen to be one of those people, and George did too. Yeah. And I don't regret having a baby young at all because I actually do enjoy being a young mother. Just because like I'm gonna have more time with Andrea and I'm gonna be like I'm gonna still be young when yeah. she's like Yeah, when she's 20 years old, Vanessa will be like 40. And that's yeah. pretty young because I seen 
at least 55, 60 year olds with like 10 year olds. Like, that's crazy. I'm still gonna be really young and Andrea's gonna have a young mom like mostly throughout her whole. Um, young dad too. <laughs> Her whole childhood young and dad stuff, too, okay? and like I don't know, I just feel like I. You're acting like I'm eight years older than you or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm right next to you. I'm just like really glad that you know we'll actually be able to be active and be able to keep up with them because we're so young. Whereas yeah. if we had them really old, we'd be like exhausted or not being able to keep up with them. Yeah. But anyways, guys, that's it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed finding out the gender of our new baby with us. It was a small gender reveal. It was just for the both of us. You know, we weren't trying to do anything crazy and we might not even have a baby shower. We're not We're, having a baby shower. Yeah. I don't want a baby shower just because, like I said, we spent a lot of money on our last baby shower and it was kind of bad because I had a place in mind that I really wanted to book and I actually wanted to even reserve the spot but just because it was new they weren't allowing me to reserve it because they had to come up with a name which I think is actually pretty dumb and when I showed up there's actually people already there and they had like a whole thing set up already so I was really upset and me and George were driving everywhere trying to find a spot and we couldn't and we ended up finding like this park which to be honest was like pretty ugly yeah, it, and like, like, it was like just tables on like dirt or dead yeah, grass it was like then, looking brown you know it wasn't even green at all yeah and then um it was pretty hot still um when we had it, it was yeah, like october. late october yeah. yeah it was freaking hot and we were under the sun no shade nothing and it was just really bad like not to be like mean or sound ungrateful or anything but like majority of the gifts that i got like you know everyone has their own style what they like for their kids what they want them to wear and like most of the stuff that i got i didn't really like love and like they got me most of the clothes that i got too was really big they got yeah, me like, like 2T 2T, stuff. 12 months and it's like i'm supposed to keep that for a whole year in the closet just sitting there well well two years and the time that she was still going to be in the bathroom. yeah so like um like i don't know i feel like we spent more money on like trying to entertain and like have a baby shower then we got back and which i mean i mean to me i feel like it shouldn't matter but like i don't know the point is like i just don't want a baby shower because i feel like the money that we would be spending on trying to have people come and eat and like buy all the decorations and stuff instead of doing all that i can just go to the store myself and get stuff that i know the baby yeah. will for sure wear like clothes like newborn zero to three months something she could wear like right away uh get her a bassinet or a crib um i wasn't really planning on getting a crib but this andrea is a really crazy sleeper she's still really used to sleeping with us only sleeps with us so obviously the newborn baby sleeping with us would not really be a safe option for us yeah and either way we wouldn't really fit so like the baby is gonna have to be in a crib or a bassinet like they can't sleep with us yeah and like i don't know like i was just saying like i feel like i would rather spend the money me myself and go to the store and get what i want rather than like hoping that people will get me what i want and i just want to put the money towards getting the baby every little thing that i want them to get right and I mean, you know, it is nice having a baby shower and doing like a little baby shower game yeah. and all that. And we had a theme but, set up if we had a daughter, which we yeah. are getting a daughter, but it was just... Yeah, I did, but we'll probably just do that for her birthday. Yeah. Well, the thing is also is that like, if we were to have a baby shower, there might not be a second birthday for Andrea. Like, it sucks that we're in the situation to where we have to choose what events we can do or not do. And of course, you know, Zendaya's here with us, and I'm pretty sure now that she's two, she will remember her birthday. And of course, we want to give her that. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed finding out the gender of the baby with me and Country. <laughs> Don't oh, forget to God. like, comment, and share, and subscribe. I'm cracking up because Zendaya's over here with <laughs> trying to sweep the house, supposedly. Yeah. But I hope you guys really enjoyed our video that we're having another baby girl. Wish us luck on being parents of two now give us a mainly, thumbs up for being good parents and providing for our daughter as we can and for our second child and give it a thumbs up for Zendaya hopefully being a good influence and a good big sister peace